and I'll get close so you can see the magnets hit. The charger is mine. <laughs> okay, I am experimenting with self-docking, and this is the robot that I'm using for it. So if we take a look at the project I, can, I created, uh, you can see that the robot has a camera facing down and the charger has a glyph on top of it. And here's an auto-dock script that I created. So I'll just click start on it and we'll watch it dock and then I'll show you what the script looks like. So you can see it's starting to run. And the robot says the charger is mine once it's charged. So we take a look at the script here. I'll show you what I wrote to make it work. So I'm using JavaScript and what I've done is I docked the robot and I looked at the center X and center Y location of the object that was detected. So for example, if we take a look at that here, you'll see that the X and Y location um, of the glyph is detected here, 187 and 338. So I wrote those numbers down here the X and Y locations, and then I enabled glyph tracking. I paused for a second and I checked to see if the glyph is detected here. If it's not, I just speak and say, hey, I don't see it. So there's a master loop that just keeps looping while the object is detected. I grab the variable of where the center location is and compare it against the center X. So that way I need to know if I need to turn left or if I need to turn right to keep the object in the center. I loop here while I'm turning left to make sure the object eventually gets within the dead band. And then I do the same thing when I'm turning right here. And finally, I just check again to say, okay, is the object within a range, the dead band of where I expect it to be? And if it is, then I know that we're on the charger, everything is good to go. And then at the end of the loop, I move forward a little bit each time. And then here's my little delay at the bottom of the loop. And then finally, if this while loop here, when we showed this master while loop, if it camera tracking goes away, it stops seeing the object. Then it just says stopping and it stops. And at this point, it probably is not on the charger, but it could be. So you want to check that. Um, the best way to check to see if you're actually charging is to check the ADC. Have an ADC line hooked up to uh, the charger with a resistor to, to the battery or something. But um, this is fine for just experimenting today. Just wanted to show it to you guys. This is the robot that I'm using for the self-docking, which is an Omni Labs telepresence robot. And they did a really smart thing with the charger. So these are actually magnets. And the robot has these pieces of metal that are connected to the charging circuit. And when the robot gets close, <laughs> they just magnet click right into it. So to show you how that works, here's the script here. I'll just run it. The Autodoc script. There it goes. And I'll get close so you can see the magnets hit. The charger is mine. <laughs> so you see that? So that's actually a pretty smart way to do uh, self-docking.